Boys and girls, a good day to you. How do you feel this morning? Good. All of you are smiling. It shows that you are ready. I am ready too. Now let's talk about revision in physics. This is one of the most important things that you have got to start right, get it right, so that you know how to study and how to do revision in physics. Now what do I mean? Before I go to the details, let me just encourage you by giving you two quotations. Number one is this. Making even one change can create a big improvement in your results. So this uh, session, I would like to encourage you to bring about some changes in the way you study physics and which will result in better results for you. I know some of you said, Uncle Pang is getting a bit late, isn't it? Don't you worry. Because it is never too late to be what you might have been. So you don't worry about whether you are too late or not. Just get going and whatever you learn today, just put into practice. So for revision in physics, basically there are two types of revision. One, I call it input revision, whereby a student would just be reading his books from page 1 to page 500, trying to read everything before the examination, and that spells disaster. The more effective way of revision is what we call output revision. That's the reason why you see that the words output is bigger even on the screen. Now, what does output revision consist of? The most important aspect of it is, it is basically a rehearsal. In other words, you practice beforehand. You practice beforehand just like getting ready for the opening ceremony, of the Beijing Olympics. You have to have rehearsal. Rehearsal, we mean two things. Number one, you answer past year question examinations. So that is vitally important and I will be covering it in my other sessions with you. But first and foremost, let us look at the other aspect of rehearsal, which is using the formulae page that has been given to you in the examination paper. Paper 1 and paper 2. Alright, let us now take a look at the formulae page. Now, for example, these are the lists. This is the list of the formulae given to you. Altogether, there are 29. So, this is the first four. I will just run through it very quickly. And then I will illustrate by taking a few. Pressure, heat, PV over T equals the constant. This runs through actually all the Form 4 and Form 5 work. Alright. So make sure that you know the formula very well inside out so that on the day of the examination, you won't just look at the formula with your mouth wide open. Huh? And then the formula looking at you, you'll be in trouble. Alright? So now, let us go to the details. What am I going to do? Or what am I supposed to do? So I will just take this four as an example. So what you need to do is write down number 12. For example, just write down number 12. Okay? Pressure equals to H rho G. Write it again, pressure equals to H rho G. Never mind, even if it is given to you, just write it again, P is pressure. P is the pressure. Write it down, don't think it's too simple. And write down the units. Units is absolutely important in physics. What is the unit for pressure? Anybody wants to answer? Okay, you are shy this morning. Alright, I'll just write it down for you. You can write down Newton per square meter or in Pascal. And write down as well, what is the next one? H. What is H? H is the height. The height of the fluid column or liquid column. And what is the units in? Okay, I see some of you talking, saying meters, discussing. Good, alright. So it is in meters. 
H rho. What is rho? Rho is the? Anybody? Okay, I see your hand there. Okay, very soft your voice. Density, good. Okay, density. And what is the unit? It is in? Kilogram per meter cube. And what is the next one? H rho G. Now G is the acceleration due to gravity is given to us in the last formula. It is 10 meter per second per second. Now so this is the first step that you must do. Just write down every quantity, write down the units. Don't think it is too simple. Now let me illustrate the point by going to formula number 15. Take a look at formula number 15. Alright. P V over T equals to constant. What is P? Pressure. So we write down again. Pressure. P is pressure in Pascal. Good revision. And what about V? Hey, do you know that from Perlis to Sabah, there are students telling me, Uncle, V is final velocity. Oh dear. And some say, no Uncle, V is potential difference. You know what I mean? You need to be very steady, rock solid. Make sure when you are given this formula, you know that the, normally the terms PV over T, the V refers to only one thing. And what is it? Alright, I can see the girl over there. Okay, volume. Alright, good on you. Alright, V is volume. Alright, I can just put down here. V is actually volume. Okay, in... Remember, standard international units, it is in meter cube. PV over T. Ah, This is the one that I'm most interested in. Because many students have forgotten. This T is for, many will say, temperature. It is wrong. It is not temperature. T is for... Absolute temperature. Everybody shout after me. Absolute! Alright, when you say absolute, then you will remember. Okay? T is for absolute temperature. So, write it down. Absolute temperature. Okay. Absolute temperature. And what is the unit? It is in K. Kelvin. Alright, it is in Kelvin. Just put the bracket down there. Now, let me encourage you because you will need to remember this. Highlight the word absolute. And one more thing that you can do is this. Every time you are given this formula, alright, write it down straight away before you even start answering any questions, PV over T, write down the word absolute. Okay, if possible, even highlight it. Just remind yourselves. Because most students, if they forget about this, they will make a lot of errors in the calculations. So let me summarize. Basically, what I have taught you in this short few minutes is this. Go through number 1 right up to number 29 in the formula page. Do yourselves a favor. Just write this over and over again so that you are familiar with the quantities, the symbols, and the units. And from there, you can go on to the next stage whereby you tackle the questions. You can go on to the next stage whereby you write down the definitions for the terms for the symbols. So with... With that, I wish you success, wish you all the best, and uh, thank you very much for your...
uh, effort for your cooperation and may God bless you.